right? So I, I look a bit ridiculous with this hat, but it's freezing cold here. It's really loud too. But we got uh, we got Ronnie in the back. Joey's there somewhere. Here he is. 25 pounds this guy ate. Uh, I don't know if I'm gonna get close to that, but contest is gonna start in about half an hour. Hopefully it warms up a little bit. And uh, yeah, poutine, that's what we're eating. I was gonna say, e e e e even if Michelle does not uh, you know, win today, she definitely wins best dressed. That is some outfit. <laughs> like something from the purge, it's crazy. <laughs> Darren, you didn't make much of an effort. No, no. Just the puberty beard. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you can chirp me about that, I know. I'll kick your ass today and we'll see how it goes. <laughs> What's up, Bidami? Welcome back to the second part in the Toronto mini series. This is the focal point of the trip. Today, I'm at Smokes Poutineries 10th Annual World Poutine Eating Championships in Young Dundas Square in Toronto, which is this huge city square they're used for New Year's Eve parties and festivals and stuff like that. And in case you're wondering, poutine is basically cheese, chips, and gravy. Kind of a staple of any state school student with reckless disregard for their own nutritional requirements diet here in England. But uh, in Canada, it's, it's really something different. It's uh, cheese curds over fries with a slightly different type of gravy. So I've never really tried proper poutine before. This is my first time trying, which I think may have given me a slight competitive edge. <laughs> you see the wriggles from that so Sorry, sorry, sorry! You will see these dance moves on Toronto's fire. Good job, guys, good job. The funny part about that is the guy that just knocked my GoPro over who's helping to officiate the contest. I didn't realize at the time, but he's actually the owner of Smoke's Poutinery, which is this huge fast food company in Canada which specializes, of course, in different types of poutine. This is their classic poutine. The standard recipe and I actually really enjoyed it. It tasted to me a little bit like when you eat a roast dinner You got a little bit of gravy left maybe a few beat up roast potatoes it Tasted like that, but with cheese curds on top So I really enjoyed it and actually it's probably too late at this point, but I should have mentioned Disclaimer at the beginning that this is a really Really messy video, right? I'm eating contest mode here So if I'm not getting a bunch of goo in my beard, I'm really not doing my job, right? So Maybe it's not for everyone, but uh, this contest was so competitive I would say this is probably the second most competitive contest of the season Because there's only really one or two people missing from the top 15 ranked major league eaters here So we got Matt Stoney, Joey Chestnut, Jeff Esper, Darren Breeden, Max Suzuki from Japan, Mickey Sudo, Michelle Lesko So I knew it would be very very difficult to place well in this contest those who seek the truth will find it. I'm looking at Adam Aranstack. Adam Aran out of nowhere on debut in this event. And towards the end of the table, the number one right there for me, you have two minutes to go. Yeah, 
I don't think Sam the MC thought I was going to quite throw down as well. But as you can see, I'm absolutely pounding it. 16 pounds with a minute to go, which is the best I've ever done in a 10 minute contest. I do get a half pound deduction, which was very fair. The sad thing is this amount would have actually got me in second place last year. Sadly, it doesn't happen this year, but I will put all the final standards up in just a second. And champion of the world with 28 pounds of smoked poutineery poutine. Joey Chester! tell you, I haven't felt this rough after a contest for a long time. My lips are all chapped. Looks like I'm wearing bright red hooker lipstick or something. <laughs> but yeah, day after the contest, on reflection, seventh isn't bad. It might not sound that great, but when you consider you're against, you know, the 15 pretty much best professional major league eaters on the planet, in your rookie year, that's uh, that's not bad at all, um, and I'm really impressed with how I did. 16 and a half pounds of food <laughs> in 10 minutes is uh, that's the best I've ever done. So I, I really can't complain. And uh, to beat Matt Stoney, that's just nuts, you know. Um, if somebody had said to me in my rookie year that I would place in the money at most contests, that I get to compete at Nathan's, that I'd beat an absolute legend of the sport like Matt Stoney and somebody I really respect, I would have bitten their hand off, you know, so knowing Matt, he probably had just an off day, you know, but um, I competed well yesterday, beat a lot of really good eaters, and um, yeah, the crowd was fantastic, and to the people that came out to watch and support, and the people that hung around afterwards to, to talk to me, you know, it's, it's mind-blowing to see that in a, a country which isn't my own, so thank you, and um, yeah, that's the last contest of this year, and um, I'm looking forward to season two with Major League Eating, you know, I'm gonna try and take it seriously next year, <laughs> as serious as possible anyway, and uh, hopefully do more contests and film some more cool content. And uh, the mini series isn't over yet, there's still two more videos to go. I'm doing another food challenge later today, <laughs> and then tomorrow if I don't die first. But yeah, hope you enjoyed the video and um, catch you for the next one.